Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a spring look, a little bit more light, fun, colorful, pink, peachy, very pink lip over here for me. I'm gonna be using a couple new products that are our current favorites and a couple old products that I just cannot put down. So if you like this look and want to know how I got it, then just keep on watching. Over there, oh my God, I look so pale. I am so glad it's spring and hopefully the sun will bless me with some color. So I'm gonna prime my face using the Smashbox Primer Water and the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Silk Mist. So let's go in with the primer water first. And then the Tatcha. Okay, so that, the Tatcha is a little bit, it's a little bit tackier of a mist. So <clears throat> I think since it's made to go it's maybe go under or over. I prefer it under my makeup. Wow, I haven't had this that long and I am. Okay, so I, I'm like here with it. I I wonder how much was in there because I don't feel like I've used this that much. Um, but it is the smaller size, so it just went quickly, I guess. All right, we're gonna start off with some coffee. <laughs> I'm actually gonna start with my eyes first because I never, ever, ever do that. But, feeling crazy. So I'm actually going to prime with a color corrector. Okay, I'm gonna put the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in pink. It's just kind of a brightener. Um, only because my, I would use my concealer, but my concealer is actually um not necessarily brightening it's kind of more of a skin tone shade right now so it's not very brightening but this is going to be kind of cancel out uh, my eyes my eyelids are a little darker and you can kind of see the veins and stuff so this is just going to kind of even out that skin tone and brighten the area we're also going to use it underneath our eyes to brighten that area since the um since the concealer that I'm using isn't a brightening concealer. For this very springy look, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. So you've got all mattes in here, and it's very, very springy, kind of rose and pinks and peaches uh, colors in here. So I'm going to use that. It's one of my favorite palettes. It smells amazing. So I'm going to first go in with uh, the shade Peanut Butter. Right here, this kind of middle shade is a little lighter. It's a little pink. It's not the whitest or lightest color in the palette. So it's going to be an all over color to kind of set that concealer we put on and give us a little bit of color back. Not concealer, color corrector, excuse me. But it's going to just kind of create this nice soft canvas. I'm going to go in with this Peaches and Cream shade right here. It's kind of a lighter peach. I'm just going to use the same brush and kind of buff that a little bit more in the crease. The good thing about doing your eyes before your face is you can take that makeup wipe and clean up really nice and easy. So I'm going to take a little bit more defined crease brush and I'm going to go in with Pink Punch right here. Keep that a little tighter in the crease. So I've kept my eyelids bare, but now I think we can go in, I'm gonna use a flat, just kind of a flat brush like this. You can see, a flat brush like this guy. So it's got a little bit of a point to it, but it's flat on both sides and <clears throat> I have the Blink Electric Eyes Palette. I got this in a boxy charm a while back, but it's all shimmers, which I love. So it's got five shimmer shades in here, and I love just take, like if I travel with this guy, which is all matte, I will take this with me because it's all shimmers, and then I can just kind of pair everything together. I'm gonna go in with the middle shade here, which is Vanadini. And we're just gonna take a little bit on the brush. Then we we'll take Smashbox Primer Water to make it a little shinier and glossier. 
So we're just gonna keep that primarily on the lid, not taking it up into the crease. And the good thing about brushes like these are they're is that they're rounded a little on top, so you can kind of just roll like swoop right in that crease and kind of cut it a little bit. Sometimes instead of like sweeping it, you can just pat and it will transfer the color really well too. So just to kind of buff that out a little bit, I'm going to take that same brush that we had the Peach Punch shade on, that kind of little bright pink there. I'm not going to put any more color on it, but I am just going to run it right in the crease, kind of the same area that I did previously. And I do want to kind of still open and brighten up this area a little bit, so I'm going to take some color off of that. Right now, I feel like I'm just a little too harsh on the inside above my lid. So I'm gonna go back in with that um, peach butter shade that we did originally, and I'm gonna go into a little bit of peach meringue, so a little bit lighter and a little bit kind of a light pink. Tap that off and then just kind of brush that right on the inside there, and that's gonna kind of diffuse the shadow you've already put there and brighten that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go with a larger fluffy brush here, and I'm just going to take just ripe and tart or peach tart and just ripe and i'm going to kind of mix those together one's a little bit more purple and the other is kind of a brown tap that off really good and then just kind of keep that on the outer corner and i'm not going to bring it in too far but i'm just going to buff it a little bit just to get a little bit of dimension so i'm going to go back in with that flatter brush that we used and i'm going to go into this more champagne shade here on the blink palette in the shade four pine for deepness. I am gonna keep this more on the center. This one is very, very bright. I don't think it needed the Smashbox primer water. I wanted it to kind of melt into that rosy color as well, so just wanted kind of the darker on the outside, and then it goes into the lighter champagne shade, and then that rosy color on the inside of the lid, so it kind of creates this halo effect almost without really doing that. I'm going to take that Just Right shade again. Just a little, the more purple one, and just kind of stamp that. All right, so I'll just take a wipe and everything kind of underneath, and just kind of bring it up. You can even take just like the edge of it and just clean it up like that. You could use tape. I didn't feel like doing that today. So I'm going to go ahead and take that Urban Decay Color Corrector in pink, which is going to lighten up the darker areas underneath. I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. I have the shade Golden Nude 13. It's a little runnier, so it's a little bit lighter. It's a little lighter formula, but it still gets really good coverage. Something more like this in the hotter months because it's going to fade a little nicer. So that's like the driest and beauty thing to put again. It's like a this this dried really quick. <laughs> it's beauty blender. Um when I have on a more full coverage foundation I feel like as my skin starts to absorb it or um it starts to fade you know later on in the day a more high coverage foundation tends to start to look a little more patchy. Whereas this is a little bit lighter coverage and it wears off a little bit more evenly. So I like that. So for concealer, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Cafe Con Leche, light 2.6. So like I said earlier, it's not really a brightening um, concealer. It's more close to skin tone. I love it. I need to get it in a lighter shade just for a lightening one, but I like having like a skin tone one too. 
I've been using my Morphe sponge for a while and I forget how much I love the pointy part of this beauty blender. I need to get one of the other Morphe sponges because I know they have some that are, like they have one with like a flat edge on it. I need to get that one too because I like being able to get like right up in the corner of my eye. So I've been doing this thing where I haven't been powdering my under eyes lately because I like them to look a little more dewy. It's probably not going to be as easy <laughs> during the spring and summer months, but I am going to lightly powder between my eyebrows. And I'm going to use, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then just this Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush. Oh wait, I almost powdered my under eye. Did you see that? So I'm just going to kind of powder this area here because that tends to get pretty oily. I'm going to do the sides of my nose and right there on this smile lines and the chin because the chin gets super oily too. So just kind of this line, but not the top of my nose. Look at this cute little mini travel one. It's so adorable. I love it. I think I'm going to go through a lot quicker than I would the big one. And I, I feel like the big one's like, or the full size is so big. All right. So while the foundation is just kind of hanging out for a second, let's do our brows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. There's just something about like this pencil. It's just a little like, it's just a little waxier. Like it works so well that I was using some other ones and as soon as I started using this one again, I made, I actually made quite a few mistakes when I was doing my brows because it's so pigmented and it's just so, it grabs, which I actually kind of like. So we're going to go with the Anastasia it's like dip brow gel, dip brow gel. I haven't decided if I like this yet because it's very, it's a very wet product and I have to go in very light or at least like wipe some off onto the container because it's, it just gets everywhere. And I've had it like just come up in clumps before and I don't really appreciate that. Okay. It's actually like, <laughs> of course it's doing a really good job right now, but it's on camera. Why is it, why does it want to work so well right now and not yesterday? <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some blush and bronzer. I have been loving this Morphe Glamour Bronze Bronzer in Icons. It's a face and body bronzer. I've been loving this. It's amazing. It's magical. It's a great shade. It's the lightest shade, I believe. Um, it's not too reddish. It's like a perfect bronzy color and it's got this big ass mirror in it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of keep that right there. Bronze that up. I love how bronze it looks in the camera. So take that up onto the temple. And take a little, just on like the edge of my nose, just like the, the edge of my nose. It's like my nose has an edge right on the tip of my nose and just kind of bronze that area. I'm not going to take it like up towards my brow, but just kind of halfway and then right there at the tip to slim that a little bit and make it more of the underside. Kind of gives it that, you know, <laughs> I love how everything a mirror and everything these days. I just picked up the LA Girl Island Hottie Blush Palette. It's got four beautiful shades in here. You've got kind of a more mauve, light pink, and then this has got a little bit of shimmer in it, a little more orange, corally colors, which I think are so pretty. And this big, huge mirror here. Everybody's been doing mirrors, and I am, I'm about it. I might do, I'm going to do a little mixture of the pink here and this orange color here. So I'm just going to tap it in there, tap it in there. These are very pigmented. Very pigmented. This palette is called Island Hottie. Um, there's another one with four other shades in it. They're a little bit more pink, so maybe for a little bit more fair skin. Something I like to do, especially in the springtime, especially in the summer, when I either one, don't have a lot of time, or two, I want kind of a monochromatic look, is I will use the blush on my eyes. Um, so like the other day, I took these two shades here and used them on my eyes, and it worked out really well. And, it, and I used them as blush. So it kind of gave it this just like monochromatic look. Okay, I think that's enough blush. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the eyes really quick. I'm gonna line them, I'm just gonna line the top lash line with a brown liner from Maybelline, the Unstoppable Eyeliner. 
and we're going to say in the shade Cinnabar. Yeah, Cinnabar. So I'm just going to go below the lot. Over just the top of my lash line. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. But brown is something I like to use because it tends to look a little more natural. Not as harsh as a black liner. But it still kind of gives some definition. So I have this just kind of flat brush here. I'm just going to run that. And just to buff out that liner. Man, I wish I was going somewhere. <laughs> so I just took this liner up into the lash line in my lashes and colored in in between the lashes. So when we put the mascara on, it will look a little more full. I'm going to take it a little on the lower lash line. Just kind of that outer corner. So for highlighter, I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. This is a really pretty kind of rosy pink color, very similar to the first color we put, the shimmer color I put on my eyes. I'm going to take my Smashbox brush here and just go to town. Tilt the cheeks like that. Nose. I've really been enjoying not powdering my whole face lately. I feel like it just gives me this nice glow. So if you do the Cupid's bow, just give yourself like a little milk mustache, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna take kind of a smaller, teeny little brush about knee size, you see? Right there, and I'm gonna take the highlight and just inner corner, make that pop, and do the brow. This little brush fits in all these little tiny places, and I love it. Most of all, the eye, pretty much all the eye brushes that I used are from the Jaclyn Hill eye brush set. All right, I'm going to set the face with my... Nope. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to set my face, and then we're going to do mascara. So I'm going to do bottom lashes first, and I have the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara in black. Not a very heavy mascara, which I appreciate. It's almost, it doesn't say it's a fiber, but it really seems that way. Like when I hold it up to my box light over here, you can almost see little fibers in the brush. You see how teeny tiny that little wand is? It's so perfect. And you don't risk that big old mascara wand smacking the bottom of your lash line. Okay, so it's going to be a little different today. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in the shade Burgundy. So we're going to be using a red burgundy mascara. I love doing this when I wear like a red or pink look. There go the dogs. But again, it's not as harsh as black. The lower lash is black mascara. And you can see a little bit of a difference, but you could always use this on your lower lash line too. Do a couple. Oh, son of a. God, do I do that every single time? So I'm gonna do a little bit of a lipstick combo. I'm going to take. I'm gonna take this ColourPop Libby Stick in Lumiere, which is a matte, and then I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Color Me Shine in Glossy Fawn. So I'm gonna do the matte shade first. This is a shade created with Kathleen Lights, and it's this beautiful rosy. Pink. That's so pretty. You could literally just do this by itself. Isn't that so gorgeous? And I love these mattes because I love like a lipstick matte, you know, not like the liquid lipstick. Hmm. Because the look is a little dewier, I'm not going to go with this like matte shade. Let's put this glossy font on top. So I just took this glossy font on top and you could really do this with any gloss, I feel like. You could just probably just take some sort of this is a pretty nude, a pretty nude color. That's where I mixed it earlier, but this is the shade right there. Um, it's pretty, pretty kind of peachy nude, um, but it is very, very glossy. I wouldn't say this is one that tends to last that long by itself, but it's a really pretty natural and neutral color. That ColourPop shade is just very pink. Um, or more of like a fuchsia, I guess. More, yeah, maybe more fuchsia. All right, guys, so this is the finished look of my spring makeup. I love this lip color. I love the eyes. I love this peachy matte 
eyeshadow palette, something I go back to every single spring and summer because I can get so many looks out of it. You can do something a little bit more neutral kind of with the outline here. And then once you get into these like deeper and pinkier colors, you can really dramatize the look a little bit more. I would definitely consider it. It's definitely still out. They have a whole Just Peachy line. I haven't picked up any of the other products. Highlight, I forgot how much I love this highlight. It's kind of this pink champagne color and it's pretty bomb. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a little it's a little intense. So, and my nose looks like you know Rudolph over here, but I love it. It gets the job done, and it's a beautiful shade. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I hope you're having a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.